Hi everyone, my name is Kylie with Bake Eat Love. Thank you for joining me this evening. Tonight I'm going to be showing you how to make a coulis. We're going to talk about what exactly is a coulis and how do we use it. So tonight I am making a strawberry coulis, which just so happens to be the sauce on our strawberry lemonade mousse tart for our July box that's coming up. So we, in this recipe, we're going to be using freeze-dried strawberries. You can use fresh strawberries, um, but freeze-dried strawberries have a really nice concentrated flavor, which go really great in this recipe. So I'm going to add those to my medium saucepan, and I'm going to go ahead and add in my sugar. Sugar is going to add sweetness and viscosity to the sauce. And I'm going to add in my water, which is going to rehydrate the strawberries. You can also sub in a little bit of lemon juice if you want a tartar sauce. So I'm going to turn this on a medium-high heat. Just going to stir my ingredients. So what we want to do is we want to bring this to a boil and we want it to simmer for about one to two minutes. We want it to reduce down um, and become thicker so that when we go on to the next process in the sauce, which is straining it, we want, it'll have like a nice uh, thickness to it and will actually be the thickness that we're looking for for a sauce. So while the coulis is doing its thing, and I'm gonna go ahead and turn it up just a little bit, uh, while it's doing its thing and kind of coming up to a simmer for us, we're gonna talk about what exactly is coulis. So coulis is a French word which translates to strained liquid. And that's pretty much exactly what it is. It's a puree of vegetables or fruit. So it can be sweet or savory. So the savory sauces usually have like herbs or spices or other elements added to them. And the sweet ones like ours um, usually has sugar added to it. And that kind of adds some more depth of flavor and creates some more body for it as a sauce. Put my spatula down because I'm making my burner sizzle. So coulis was originally the juices um, from baked meats and that was used as a sauce, but later it evolved into a more pureed form like soup, like fish and meat. Um, but it became very popular um, in France during the rise of Nouvelle Cuisine during the 1970s, where that's where it gained popularity as a dessert sauce. So that's where you see all the really nice fancy plates um, that had little swirls and swishes and like little dollops of sauce. Those are coulis. So they really dress up a plate, they make it really pretty. Um, you can use coulis, you can just drizzle it on top of ice cream, you can drizzle it on top of cakes, you can use it like we use in our strawberry and lemonade mousse tarts as a nice sauce on top, you can make designs with it. So there's a lot of really um, fun ways that you can use coulis that make it a very versatile sauce. So there's that word sauce. So is coulis a sauce? Is it a puree? Is it a puree that's used as a sauce? So there's a lot of debate on what exactly um, is coulis. Some people say that coulis has to be cooked in order for it to be called a coulis. Some people say that um, it has to have certain um, components in it to be considered a coulis. But I think that at the end of the day, we can all agree that it's delicious and it adds a lot of great notes to desserts. So I'm still waiting here for it to come up to a boil. So once it starts to do that, we're gonna to start to see it thicken, which is what we are looking for. So in the meantime, I'm going to show you what the next step in the process is while we're waiting for this to come to the boil. So I have my uh, bowl here and I have my strainer. Um, you can use a smaller strainer, whatever's gonna fit um, pretty much all of your ingredients into it is what, is what you're looking for. Um, and then you are going to pour the contents of your ingredients into it and we're going to kind of mash it down. And I'm going to show you that process here in just a moment. Looks like our, we're coming to a boil, which is great. I'm going to let it continue to do that. Oh, it smells really good. I love a strawberry sauce. All right, great. Just continue to let that simmer. You want to stir it occasionally. You don't want to walk away from it because it does have sugar in it and it can burn. So you don't want to keep it on a high heat and, and walk away from it. All right, great. We're going to continue to let that do its thing and it will get thicker once it cools. So it's good to keep that in mind that as you're cooking it, you want to make sure that you don't cook it down too much and lose too much of your liquid and then you don't have enough uh, to make your sauce for your plate or to dress your dessert. All right, great. 
great. Put that going, just taking a look at it. When I tip my pot, I'm able to see through those bubbles there. You can start to see it is thickening up, which is great. And it'll continue to, re to reduce down as the water evaporates. And if you were using a fresh berry in this, you um, would not need to add as much water. You could just add maybe just a touch of lemon juice or just a little bit of water, but the um, berries themselves will have water in them that will act as the water that we added into this recipe here. All right, great. I think we are just about there. Again, I will kind of start to show you what it looks like. So it's thickening up for us here, which is great. So coolies are a great simple sauce and you can make them not only with strawberries, you can do raspberries. That was one of the most popular sauces during Nouvelle Cuisine. And you could do blackberries, you could do a medley of different berries. And that's what's so great about the strainer, because if you're ever worried about seeds, you can just strain them right out and it makes that nice smooth sauce and looks really pretty on the plate. All right, so I'm starting to get what I'm looking for here in the sauce. And as I mentioned before, it will thicken up more as it cools. So we don't want to reduce it down too terribly much. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn my heat off here. I want to dump the contents into my strainer and just be careful because it is hot and it does have sugar in it. So you don't want to get splashed. All right, great. So you just want to scoop it all in there and kind of set your pot aside. I pick this up and I'm going to push through my ingredients here. You're just, like I said, acting as the manual pureeer here. If you wanted to puree the sauce though, you could absolutely pop it into a RoboCoop or you could use an immersion blender if you wanted to puree it further. But because we chopped the strawberries before we added them into the sauce, we got a nice, got them nice and fine. So as you can see, there's not gonna be a lot of product left behind. So the most important thing you wanna remember when you're straining is you want to remember to scoop all of the goodness off the bottom of your strainer because that's where a lot of your sauce is going to be. You don't wanna leave that behind. So I would normally let this cool a little bit, but there you have it. There's your strawberry coulis. And as you can see, you can see it napping the back of the spoon. That's what we're looking for. And you can add it into uh, squeeze bottles I have one here and you can do like little dots on your plate. You can put it in piping bags and pipe it across your desserts. But I'm gonna let this cool down. If I try to use it now um, on my plate, it's, it's gonna run on us. I need it to cool down just a little bit. But I can kind of show you that that's like a design that you'd be able to make. Um, or if you had it in a piping bag, you'd be able to do little dots. And as you can see, that would make a dessert plate extra special. So if you're interested in this recipe, you can go to our blog at blog.bakeyfudbox.com and learn a little bit more about Cooley there as well. And if you're interested in our strawberry lemonade mousse tarts, you can go to our website at bakeyfudbox.com and get yours while supplies last. Thank you so much for joining me this evening. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.